So welcome to another session of analog electronics. Today we are going to be covering what I refer to as a clamping circuit. This should be clamping circuits. So a clamping circuit is a circuit uh, which is which is which uh, which it functions mainly to shift the position of the waveform, actually and maintaining the particular part of the waveform. So as much as it's going to be shifted, the uh, the waveform itself is not interfered with. And therefore, it's only applicable particularly for the two types, for the, for the, when we want to actually clear, to put a level of a voltage to a different state so that you are able to operate a circuit. So we need to do, do to indicate something about it. So it is a circuit. It is a circuit in which in which the waveform is shifted, but its shape is ma maintained, but its shape is maintained at a particular level. So you can have, I'll have a sketch of what we mean by the statement you have given. So this is a waveform that has got maximum value of 5 and a minimum value of negative 5 volts. So I want us to demonstrate how these statements can be used to explain what a clamping circuit is. So I'm going to draw, draw a similar circuit like that, but there'll be some changes. There'll be some changes in this case. So when you look, you look at this waveform, eh? it's similar to this because the peak is still 5 volts, but the position is that we have shifted this part of the waveform and uh, actually it has at least moved down with the same margin, but the, say, the size of the waveform still remains the same. So this is an example of what a clamping circuit can do. So when you achieve this, then we are, we are, we are talking about a clamping. Then uh, there are two types of clamping circuits. Clamping circuits. Roman one is a diode clamper. Roman two is an improvement of this is what I refer to as biased. So we're going to discuss this a bit in details concerning this and using a diagram. So let us talk about what I refer to as a diode clamper. So we'll first to go to draw a diagram so that we explain it using a diagram. So what we have at this end is what we have as input voltage, which in this case is a sine wave. Is a sine wave, and also whatever have is, is an output voltage. So this is a capacitor. This is a capacitor, and this is a diode. 
So the, this circuit is such that during the negative part of the sine wave, the diode is forward biased and we are able to charge the capacitor. But during the, the positive part of the sine wave, the diode is reverse biased. And the voltage that was in capacitor adds to the input voltage. And though, therefore, we will have shift the output voltage such that if, if our case, the sine wave was given as the maximum sine of omega t, then our output will be given by the maximum Vm sine of omega t plus the voltage maximum of the capacitor. So this can be our output expression. That one, that one explains to you about what clamping is. And by that means we shall have shifted the position of this sine wave by this ma maximum amplitude. And that's what we need to understand. So we are going to have to explain this in a statement, operation of the circuit. So during the negative part of the sine wave input. The diode is forward biased and the capacitor charges to maximum supply voltage. Another statement, during the positive part of the sine wave, The diode is reverse biased, and so the capacitor voltage is added to the input voltage. Hence, the output voltage is shifted by the maximum voltage of the capacitor. So, therefore, the output is expressed as Vm sine of omega t plus Vm, where Vm is the maximum voltage of the capacitor. So basically, that's how a clamping circuit works. It's very simple. And this explains the operation. So we're going to do what I thought as the bias clamper and see what happens this. So this is, if in case you want to explain about, um, if you want to use uh, a diode when reverse bias, they were going to see how the main, the main circuit is only that you shall be clamping the part of it. This clamps the negative because it's during the negative part of the cycle that we have the diode being conducting. But when we want to clamp the positive part of the sine wave, we use the similar circuit, but the diode is connected in the opposite direction. So for positive clamping circuits, then, just another statement here. For positive clamping circuit, then the figure, then the figure 
is as shown. Eh? So we have to draw that figure so that we understand the difference between this negative clamping and this positive clamping. So let us draw that diagram so that we are able to So this circuit can be used for positive clamping and the other one for negative clamping. So from here we can now go to our next type of clamping circuit which I've had to ask. Biased. Clamper. So we shall do that with the aid of a diagram. So this is an example of a biased clamp, and we still I just, I still remember any time you hear with the term biased, then let, let us put in mind that there's a potential connector across the output and in series with the output device. So this is, is what basically makes change the whole thing to be biased. So in this case, what can what do we expect as the output voltage, the, the output waveform, not output voltage, output waveform. Then I'll have this eh? as if this was then this will be shifted so this basically this is the minus it's just zero volts. Huh? Then up we have five. This is now ten. Five. Initially we had the waveform originating from the origin, which is zero zero volts, all the way as this. But after applying the bias, eh, it has shifted itself by the margin of these volts. So this margin of shift is, you know, we use it as, as the five volts or that whatever according to this circuit, because it has been shifted by a clip of five volts. That means that the bias voltage is a maximum of five volts. So this basically explains what the biasing voltage is. So we can have this, we can explain this in a simple way that we are going to say that uh, clamping is done Clamping is done. Clamping is done at any voltage of the applied biasing voltage. At any clamping is done at any biased voltage. And so the output waveform. will have its origin shifted by similar margin of the applied or alternative as the bias voltage. Then what do we talk of the applications? Where can we get these kinds of circuits? 
So number one is the voltage multipliers. We can get the voltage multipliers. And in this case, we mean the doubler, the tripler, the quadrupler, i.e., whatever thought as the doubler, the prep tripler, quadrupler, quadruple, 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 quadruple. So another application that we have here is, is shifting any part of the output voltage. Shifting any part of the output voltage. Where from? And particularly, where can you find this shifting part of the output? A good example is your TV, e.g. in televisions. 